So you can see I already have opened a bunch. Okay, before anybody says anything, yes, I ordered that online and I thought we didn't measure it. It looked big in the picture and this is what came. So that, <laughs> it looks so ridiculous. So that will be getting upgraded. Okay, please don't. See, the only PowerPoint along this wall is that one and it's just not gonna work. So I think I'm gonna start the LEDs from here, bring them all around. Okay, so I can't promise you these angles are gonna be the best because I'm off a mini tripod. So it looks like the 10 meter, it just comes with two. So I think you plug it into the other end here to get an extra long one. Here's my adapter. So this little thing, this like plug that wouldn't focus before, plugs, uh, this bit plugs into here and then this bit plugs into here. And that's your wall plug, which then plugs into the adapter, right? I'm going to try and do it around the wall and I'm going to see if I can put the camera somewhere so you guys can see how I do it. I cleaned the floors today so I don't know if I'm going to alcohol wipe because this is a rental and I don't want them like super super stuck down. So another pro tip guys, what you can do is always plug in the LEDs and test that they're working before you go to the effort to stick it all down. Because you might stick it down and then find that the LEDs are actually broken, this has happened to me before. Alright, so I've managed to get it. Alrighty, 
So I've managed to get it along the skirting board. I've got to figure out how the 10 meter thing works because it's come with two fibers and you've got to connect them. As you can see, I've gone along the skirting board. I didn't wipe this down because I don't want it to pull the paint off. It's done, the stretch of this perfect. So now I'm just gonna see if I can connect another one to get to here. I just wanted to quickly show you how the two connect and the two five meters connect to make the 10 meter via this cable and then it connects to the power supply and they will run as one light. So it's not one big cable, it's two five meters connecting at the port. Alrighty guys, so what we're trying to do now is gonna get the LEDs going under the kitchen bench and we've managed to find a way to come this side to kind of tuck the cable in under the sink. So that's what we're about to do now. First rental we ever get, we deck it out in LEDs. <laughs> no matter what happens. Alright, so we've actually had to cut off a tiny bit with this one because it was too long. But if you're going to cut these guys, you kind of want to cut it, you have to cut it on the middle bit, otherwise it will stuff the LED. But if I was cutting it here, I normally cut it a little bit more on the side that I want gone just to be safe. Oh baby! God damn! Who's that purple sexy looking bitch? That looks so nice, wow. Um, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to hook it up to my phone so we can do a custom colour. I won't show you this side yet because we haven't done it. It's in English. <laughs> Wait, it's not in English? <laughs> There's a lot of languages on here. Um, good luck with that. You want to find what language is suitable for you. And then if you read in the download the Gobi app section and you go to, I think it's C, it will tell you what number the, uh, the particular lights that you bought have, so it's so much easier to search. I'll show you how to use the app later in the video, but basically I'm just gonna search for what it's written here. H6127, come straight up. Easy as that, just connect it straight away. Super easy. Then I'm gonna name it Kitchen. Where you belong. <laughs> wow. Got him. You're not even a gamer. <laughs> Get in the kitchen. All right, guys, so the LEDs have been installed, Ooh, as you can see. Filters through the colors. I've set this one as a custom color. I'm gonna show you guys that in just a second. Just a couple more rooms to do, and then I'll tell you all the details. So we come over to the kitchen. Uber Eats! Uber Eats! <laughs> oh my God. So we put the LEDs under. It kind of makes the chairs glow, it's very interesting. You can see it there, lifting a little. And then it just tucks in and this still shuts. How good's that? It definitely makes the house look a lot nicer because our house is really empty at the moment because of COVID, all the shops are shut and we can't actually go get any furniture. We're not ordering online anymore. Exhibit A, <laughs> the TV cabinet. Oh God. <laughs> I feel in the meantime, the LEDs kind of distract you from the fact that it's very empty. I wanted to show you guys quickly that you can actually, through the app, dim it a lot. There's so many features to the app. You can dim the brightness a lot. Like, oh, it's so good. Alrighty guys, so I have officially finished setting up the LEDs in the kitchen, the living room, Sonia's bedroom, and my bedroom. I have two spare left. So I think I'm actually gonna remove these ones to replace them with the Gobi. So I'm gonna sit down and talk with you guys now about whether I think they're worth it, what makes them better than the eBay lights and just like my overall thoughts on them and a little bit of information about them. So I was sent two types. So I'm gonna start with the 10 meter strips. The 10 meter is slightly different from the five meter, obviously. So the 10 meter has Wi-Fi control with Alexa and Google Home. Unfortunately, I don't have Alexa or Google Home to have test that part but I obviously test the Wi-Fi part and it works super, super well. So they connected super easy. The app was really easy to download and make an account. It just all went a lot smoother than I was expecting. So the lights actually have segmented control and they also sync to music. So kind of similar to how the Nanoleaf does it. It will pick up the audio in your phone and it will play to the music. I think that's really cool. I didn't realize there were LEDs on the market that could do something like that. I'll give you a little demonstration of what the music sync looks like now. So 
So I'd say there's like a slight delay. If I talk, it works really well. I think because I'm playing it off my phone, it's not picking it up as well. But you can see it, it, it goes mental to it. But yeah, so it has that music sync. So if you're playing music and you want um, a little bit of a party vibe, this can definitely do it. So the 10 meter actually is just two five meter cables that connect uh, in a double port. So I was kind of expecting it to be one long cable, which would have been a lot more convenient due to the PowerPoint situation. Luckily, I managed to work around this by hiding the cables in the mirror. So I'd say that's the only like thing I was a little bit uh, wished was different on the 10 meter is that it was one long one. So it connects to the double port. So the lights uh, still run as one light. So they actually also come with a little white controller, which is on the connection point that you can filter through a few preset colors, turn it off, look at the different scenes. So if you didn't want to get the app, you could do this. And it's handy for other people in the house who don't have it on the app. But you definitely, I definitely recommend downloading the app because there's so much more you can do on the app and you'd honestly be kind of like ripping yourself off there. These lights are actually an RGBIC uh, LED light. So I believe this is new technology where instead of just doing like a solid color, they can do different colors on the one LED strip. So this is how you get the rainbow on the LEDs. And this is really, really cool. I didn't realize that this was even a thing. Hence why I'm gonna swap out some of these for the Gobi strip. So yeah, this is what gives you the ability to do the rainbow or the color gradient. It's really, really customizable on the app as well. Like you can put in the colors that you want it to gradient, which I think is insane. You can really, really customize your setup this way. Definitely a step in the right direction for LEDs. And I feel like these ones are kind of old technology now. So if you want something more customizable for your setup, you'd be missing out not getting the RGB IC lights. So now we're gonna talk about the five meter strips. So these have app control segmented control which is the color gradient once again uh, these ones also have music sync and these ones are waterproof so you guys would know that I love the waterproof LEDs they're just a lot safer if you're sticking things on the ground you just never know if you're mopping or if you spill water and I've spilt water like just about anywhere I'm super super clumsy so it is just so much more safer and you have the peace of mind when they're waterproof so there isn't a huge difference between the five meter and the 10 meter strips but from what I can see the five meter doesn't have the Alexa or the Google home option so basically all the stuff I said before about the 10 meter still applies to the five meter that seriously so close to being the same it's just the adapter's a little bit different and the Alexa uh, so I'm actually gonna give you a demonstration of the app now Alrighty guys, so I'm going to show you what you can do with the app. So, so you open the Gobi app and I'll go out into the main menu. You can see Bert's bedroom. That's where I am at the moment. Uh, we got it on music sync. So I'm going to change it to color. So you've got all your like your basic colors. You've got your color wheel that you can really just pick any color you want. And this is awesome in my opinion. And then scenes, these are preset ones. So you've got like sunlight, twinkle, Sunset, Snowflake, uh, Candlelight, this one's really cool, it's quite a mood. This is a fun one to play around with, you can, so I like to go color DIY, and you can see I've done a kitchen vibes already as my preset, so uh, you can just go down, you can honestly select whatever color you want, and then you can pick how you want it to go and the speed of it to transition. So what I do is I go apply, and now it's going to filter through these colors in a gradient and uh, you can see it slowly changes otherwise circulation and I up the speed I go apply DIY option and then you've also got like your brightness option which is really good because these things are really 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 bright as you can tell and then a timer you can set it to turn off so say you're going to bed and you want it to turn off at a certain time or on at a certain time you can set that through the app one more thing I wanted to note is the difference between the 10 meter and the 5 meters, which I didn't mention uh, later in the video, is that the 10 meters appear to be uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, where the 5 meters, uh, as you can see from the symbols, appear to only be Bluetooth. I also really love the ability to be able to control this off of my phone. You would know that uh, the LEDs that I run that are just from eBay are on these controllers. And the problem with this is when I go to turn one of the lights off, it turns them like all off. So you, can't, it, you sit there like pressing a button for ages trying to get it just to do the one. So with this, when you actually put the LED into the app, you can name it. So you could easily name in this situation, I could name window one, window two, window three and control all off of a phone. It would be 10 times easier. Um, 
I wish I had these before doing this room. So I'm gonna actually start to swap out a few simply because it's so much easier and convenient. So do I think these LEDs are worth it over normal eBay LEDs? Yes, 100%. I think the new technology with the gradients, the app control, is just so much more convenient and more customizable. So I had a little look to what the prices for these LED strips are. It appears that they sell them on Amazon because when you go to the website, it directs you to the Amazon link. And the prices really do vary anywhere between $25 to $60. I'm not 100% sure if this includes shipping depending where you're from. And I think that's really reasonably priced. Like that is so close to what you'd be paying for these and you get so much more. So yeah guys, overall I am super happy with the LED light strips and I honestly think they're such a good product for the price point and you'd be silly to not get these ones over the traditional light strips on eBay. So I hope this video has helped you in some way guys. I always get questions about what LEDs I use. So if you guys do deck out your stream rooms or your bedrooms, anything, tag me in it in social media. I would love to see what you guys do. So all my social links will be in the description guys. You can also find me on Twitch every single day except Saturdays and Mondays. But yeah guys, that's the end of the video and uh, I'll see you in the next one, bye.